Hello, my name is Skylar Bascom, and I'm the Director of Family Ministries here at Westminster. It was my privilege this week to teach on the 78th week in the Gospel of Luke. And this week, it was a zoom in on Jesus and a conversation with two criminals while he hung on a cross. The first criminal hurled insults at Jesus, mocking him alongside the soldiers and the religious leaders. But the second criminal had remarkable insight into the person of who Jesus is. And he did four things. First, he rebuked the other criminal. Second, he confessed his own sin. Third, he confessed Jesus's righteousness. And fourth, he pleaded for Jesus's mercy. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And so during the study, what we looked at is this criminal couldn't have come up with this insightful, eloquent, eloquent plea towards Jesus without an inciting incident, without something that captured his attention on the cross and really had him change his mind about who Jesus was. And that moment was when Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. So Jesus's forgiveness had this ripple effect as he forgave the soldiers, as he forgave the religious leaders that rippled to this criminal on the cross. And the same is true in our life. When we have public displays of forgiveness, when we embrace Jesus's forgiveness, it changes us and it changes those around us and it has a ripple effect. And so this study was really great to see how one moment of Jesus's forgiveness on the cross had a ripple effect to the criminal on the cross. And as we look at church history, how many times Jesus' forgiveness, his mercy, and his grace, how it radically changes people and has ripple effects on them, their families, and their communities. Well, I hope that you have a great time watching this sermon. I hope it brings some insight and remembrance when you receive Jesus' forgiveness and how that impacted your life. And also, if you haven't received the forgiveness of the Lord, um, there's a great kind of four-step layout plan, as you see from the criminal. Um, anytime we feel distance from Jesus, we can, one, rebuke the evil that's around us. Number two, confess our sin. Number three, declare Jesus' righteousness. And then number four, plead for his mercy. The criminal gives us this great template to follow. So I hope you enjoy this message. God bless you.